Freelance Payment Systems, or FPS, streamlines crew onboarding as well as the time carding process. After starting with our V1 product in September of 2020 and seeing great success, we are happily making great progress with a version 2 of our system that is ready to start being used now. In this video, you will see the crew onboarding process and production management side of our version 2 system. While we didn't use to store any data, now all crew will have accounts that are accessed through a passwordless login system tied to their phone numbers. After entering a phone number, they are texted an access code which allows them to securely log into their accounts. This is the crew member homepage where they can join new projects, access current and old projects, and edit their personal information. As a new user, crew members will be prompted to enter their personal information into the field seen here. All of this information will only need to be entered once and then will be stored and input onto their start paperwork on each job going forward, making the onboarding process go much smoother. We also provide a section for members to input their loan out information and easily switch between being paid as an individual or as a loan out depending on each job. Going back to the homepage, the project code is a unique job specific code that allows crew members to join projects and would be distributed by the production team upon the crew members hire. Going through the projects page, we can see how a crew member onboards themselves onto a specific job for the first time. They first enter their rate as well as their position. Because all of the crew members start paperwork information has already been saved, only a quick signature is needed to generate and submit it. PDFs of the paperwork are always available for download. And now the crew member is ready to start submitting time cards. In this example, the crew member already has two time cards submitted and has two more in progress. Crew members can only submit time cards for weeks within the job parameters set by the production manager. Filling out a time card as a crew member is incredibly easy. They just enter in the times that they worked, add in extra meal breaks if needed, and add in any notes that are relevant for that day. They select all the days they worked during that week and then can easily toggle between them. Crew are then prompted to enter in any mileage forms, kit rentals, or any other reimbursement expenses that might need to be added to their time card. After a final review, the time card can then be submitted to the production manager. While the production manager's view looks very similar to the crew members, there is the addition of the admin page at the top. Clicking this allows the production manager to review all of the submitted time cards and approve them before passing them along to the payroll company. They can search by time cards alone, payroll batches, or individual crew members. In this batch view, we can see one batch that has already been started, and by clicking on it, we can see all of the time cards that have been grouped together. In this example, there is only one. Time cards can easily be added to batches, and new batches can be created when needed just by typing in the name of the new batch. The new batch will immediately appear in the batches section. When looking at individual crew members, we can see if their start paperwork has been completed and signed, and if they have submitted any time cards. This is also where the production manager would go to review the crew member's information and to sign their start paperwork as the employer. When reviewing time cards as an admin, you are presented with the entire week at once and prompted to fill in the line numbers, work status, and work zone. If any changes need to be made to the time card, the revised time card is sent back to the crew member for approval. Once all time cards in a batch are approved by the production manager, the batch is then submitted directly to the payroll company. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to learn more, please check out our website, tryfps.com, or reach out to us at support at tryfps.com.